Mr. Syed Shahabuddin, you rang up A.R. Antule after he made this statement and you congratulated him for saying, for, for speaking the unspeakable. Why are you supporting Mr. Antule? Let me explain to you. There was a surge of hope when Karkare unveiled the face of Hindutva terrorism. Because so far, in all investigations, the police had totally ignored all other alternative leads, having made up their mind that it is the Muslims, it is the Muslims, it is the Muslims. Now the truth was out. And that lifted so much weight from the mind and heart of the, of the, of the Muslim community. Therefore, when he was killed, there was a shock and sorrow all across the Muslim community. And mind you, before he was killed, there was a barrage of vilification against him. There were many threats against him. He was called Desh Drohi. He was virtually condemned to death. He got a telephone call, many telephone calls threatening him, one only two days before he was killed. So, the point is, the Muslims look upon this little episode as distinct from the rest of the Bombay drama. No Muslim says that Pakistan did not attack India. No Muslim says that the terrorists did not come from Pakistan or that they were not Pakistanis. But the Muslims do identify themselves. But, as but, but, but Mr. Shahabuddin, uh, let me put this question to uh, Amir Raza Hussain. Amir Raza Hussain, we already have the uh, Muslims for Sec Secular Democracy who have come out and condemned Mr. Antule. We've seen that this year has been the year of the great Muslim fight back, when Muslims have wanted to join the mainstream and condemn terrorism and said this is not, this is not Islam. Is Mr. Antule putting the clock back, once again turning the Muslim to a grievance, to fear, to anger and the conspiracy theories that have trapped the Muslim for so long. Is he turning the clock back? I beg to differ from you. Well, uh, let, me, uh, let me just uh, put this into perspective. There was a terror attack in Mumbai. The first line of offense would be expected to be the anti-terrorist squad. Uh, who would we uh, send uh, to fight terror on the streets of Mumbai? The captain of the cricket team or the chief of the anti-terror squad, for God's sakes? You know, if uh, it, it's very unfortunate what happened to Karkare, but you cannot view this as a conspiracy. And look, there are Muslim grievances. There have been problems which the Muslim community has faced. Look at the Sachar Committee report. Look at the Shri Krishna report. They are antagonistic, they are suspicious of the police force and, and uh, the security forces all over the country. But this is not the time, this is not the place to voice these suspicions. This is not the forum to do it. And by uh, bringing this whole conspiracy theory into Karkare's death, we are not undermining liberal Muslims. We are, not, uh, we are undermining India. And that is what the problem is. Somewhere we have to focus. We understand their problems of the Muslims. Let us discuss them after the war on terror is over. At the moment, we are... Uh, we are uh, and that, uh, that, uh, uh, and, and right, and that is the voice of the liberal Muslim, then, Mr. Saeed Shahabuddin. That, that is the voice... No, I don't the... think it's the voice. Sagrika is, is... Go ahead. This is not the voice of the liberal Muslim. This is the voice of the Indian. And the voice of the Indian says that there are differences between Hindu and Muslim, but today Hindu and Muslim should I, stand shoulder to shoulder to, to I don't fight. Uh, Shahab Sahib, I have great for respect for your regards, but let me speak Muslims at this time. At or for this the, time. No, no, it's not a question Muslims. of liberal Muslim. The common it's Muslim a, a question of Indians coming together. The of Karkar. And in and the he had, cause but, Just a minute, let me, let me complete. And he had a suspicion. Look, that he had been bummed off because the BJP wanted him or the Sangh Parivar wanted him to be bummed off. And therefore, Antulle, what Antulle has done, in my opinion, has done a service to the country. He has restored the hope of the Muslim community that with Karkare's going, the Malegaon... You don't see him. MJ Akbar has written, his disease is the cancer of vote bank politics. He's but just there is a vote bank Muslim politics. Vote. You know, you know, do you know that Antulle never won from a Muslim constituency? Antulle's constituency has not more than 15% or 10% Muslims. 
What is it? But is and that the policy? You, know, you, you were a member of the Congress in 2007. Minute, is this minute. not the time and for the Congress also, to shun this kind of politics? And, and when he was Chief Minister of Bombay, Maharashtra, he did not play Muslim. He played Maratha. But what explains the Congress's conduct? Why is the Congress dithering? Why is the why, Congress not sacking? Let's let, sacking a, a, a minister who the should Congress, accept collective responsibility. Congress has been dithering primarily because they've got a presumption. That this, okay, let me get Chandan Mitra in here, who's been listening patiently. India's case against Pakistan. It does not. Because at no point has Antulle said anything absolving Pakistan. Let